Hey everyone, today I've got my Tenet movie review. With theaters slowly opening back up and very limited options for new movies to see, is this the one not to miss? So as far as the story goes, Christopher Nolan directs this spy thriller that has hints of science fiction where the world is on the brink of ending up in World War III. And in order to prevent that from happening, a team finds a way to go back in time uh, go back and forth in time while literally going backwards and forwards in motion. I just have to say that seeing that on screen, it was so cool with how all of that was filmed because it's something I feel like I've never seen in a movie before. While we're used to seeing Nolan come up with all of these different concepts with movies, there's always something different and it's always equally satisfying. He has these concepts that just are beyond anything that one could ever imagine. And this movie was literally several years in the making that finally uh, brings this James Bond style movie to the big screen. And of course I do want to see Christopher Nolan actually tackle on a James Bond movie. I think that's probably on everybody's uh, wish list nowadays so I really hope that comes true sometime in the future. So as far as the casting goes you've got a slew of pretty fantastic actors starting with you've got John David Washington who once again proves to be a standout lead actor after his performance in Black Klansman and he brings his A game here as the protagonist that's literally what uh, you know, they're calling his type of character in this movie, which proves his range to take on multiple genres. And, you know, this is one that I never expected to see him in, but it was definitely one of his best performances. Joining him is Robert Pattinson, who I have grown to love for quite some time now. And he's awesome in this movie as well. And he plays some kind of like agent. He also provides good chemistry with uh, the other actors. You've got Elizabeth Debicki, who was great in her role as well. And just to see, uh, you know, how vulnerable she was and she wasn't uh, your, like, damsel in distress, like your typical damsel in distress type of character. And I can't wait to see her play Princess Diana in the next season of The Crown. You've got Kenneth Branagh, who plays a perfect villainous role as a Russian oligarch that fits well in this movie and even it was nice to see Michael Caine be in this movie as well because I mean we've seen him in several Nolan movies so of course it was a no-brainer to cast him in some role uh, no matter how big or small. The things that I liked about this movie was that the use of practical effects versus CGI honestly makes this movie worth seeing on the biggest screen possible. IMAX is definitely the one to see and between the car chases and there's something I won't spoil but it has to do with a plane I mean it was just so crazy I was blown away with the stunt work that the actors actually did most most by themselves it reminded me so much of a mix of Inception and Memento two of my other favorite Christopher Nolan movies and there's just so many layers involved in the, the story and just the movie as a whole. You have to uncover, you know, within that two and a half hour time slot. I almost forgot that I wasn't listening to Hans Zimmer score the movie because uh, he's done so in some of Nolan's past movies, but this was instead composed by Academy Award winner Ludwig Jorensen and he takes the reins in creating this memorable soundtrack that really just gets me pumped up and excited every time an action scene comes on. I mean it literally is like an adrenaline rush watching this movie. I mean it's just a feast for the eyes. So overall I would say that I was truly in love with this movie by the end of it and I like the fact that I was never really you know spoiled before seeing the movie. This may take several viewings to fully grasp, you know, what was being accomplished in this movie, but boy did this exceed my expectations and just keeps me 
you know, engaged and just wanting to see more. So I knew I was definitely in for quite a surprise, and I think you will too, so I would highly recommend seeing this movie, and I would give this five hearts on the heart rate scale. So let me know in the comments what you guys thought of Tenet, and as always, you guys can subscribe to my channel. I've got more movie reviews, movie updates, come back every week for a Trail Thursday video. You guys can also like me on Facebook and follow me on Twitter, and I'll see you guys later.